Hello, I'm Corey up in the Game Show Geek. It's April 21st, 2012, and I've got some Game Show news for you starting right now. In the event you missed your ride in the cash cab, sad to say, it's not coming around again. Yeah, Discovery Channel decided to stop production on the show. It was hosted by Ben Bailey, which... The show tweaked the conventional quizzer format by recruiting its contestants right off the street, unsuspecting taxi passengers, which New York, you know, there's a, lo a whole lot of them. Basically, there's 13,000 cabs, and you had to look for the one. And you remember its number. There it is for you. Since the show was not part of primetime, Discovery didn't make a big deal out of its ratings, but TV insiders and the daytime Emmys sure loved the show. <laughs> Thankfully, though, producer Lion Television could shop the show, which means it could come back on another cable network if they manage to find a deal. Until then, keep looking for it in reruns in syndication. With their greasy rags. Oh yeah, get that away from me. Ah, man. All right, you select the next story. Celebrity Jeopardy for Far Andre, please. Good choice. The answer is 15 celebrity contestants who have collectively earned 21 Emmys eight Peabody's, four Pulitzers, and a Grammy, served under three White House administrations and include the NBA's all-time leading scorer. And what is the return of the SNL Jeopardy? I'd like for that to happen, but no. The correct response is, what is Jeopardy's Power Players Week edition of the show? And basically, it's the winner of each game will earn a minimum of $50,000 for the charity of his or her choice, while the other eight, kid, while other 14 contestants will earn a guaranteed $10,000 for their causes, Jeopardy Power Players Week will tape in front of a live audience at the DAR Constitution Hall in DC and will air the week of May 14th. So look forward to. Hey Jay, remember George Lopez tonight? Mm-hmm. Well, Fox has tapped entertainer George Lopez as host of its new reality dating game show, Take Me Out. I'm gonna take him out. <laughs> I knew you wouldn't like it. The series premieres June 7th, and they'll put competing bachelors head-to-head to head as they try to impress 30 female contestants. If he couldn't please a national audience, how is he going to please 15 women? Yeah, I know. It's a total what-the-f*** <laughs> moment. Yes. And here's one again from Across the Pond. We seem to get a lot of this stuff from Across the Pond, but that's our sources, folks. ITV Studios in the UK has been poised to pilot the hit game show The Chase for the US broadcaster Fox Network. Mm. Yeah, the production unit's currently making preps for the pilot and will fly US contestants over to the UK free of charge to take part in the filming at London Studios on South Bank. If the pilot takes off, it's hoped that ITVS can win a big order for the Bradley Walsh fronted show which airs on ITV1 in the UK. And sources have suggested that U.S. buyers have been particularly sweet on the show since ITV1 won over the ratings in its primetime version and with celebrities last year. It's not clear whether Fox sees it as daytime or primetime, although both time slots could use it. Fox and ITV have not commented on the show, but will keep pressing for comments. And last but not least, just two days after the death of former New Year's Rockin' Eve host Dick Clark, words came out that his remains had been cremated. His publicist, Paul Sheffrin, confirmed this to the press on Saturday, a uh, Friday, excuse me, and no word as of yet on whether there will be a funeral or where it'll be at, if there is one. But we'll bring you more details as time goes on. And now for a brand new segment in the show we call... Real Trip. Hey, you know how Britney Spears is signing on to the X Factor for 15 mil? Yes. Well, get this. She just spent $20,000 on a bra. What the family bra? I <laughs> know. It's a Kelly Dooley bra with 18 karat gold hardware and it's got little crystals all so she's off the jewel when she takes off her shirt. Can you believe that? She spent 20 grand on a bra when she barely spent $99 on a pair of leggings. Somebody get me a peen ball hammer. I know. I want to do some hammering of my own. Just, <clears throat> man, how dumb. 
down do they get? I think I have the perfect musical track of a response for this. <laughs> Let's hear it. Ah, yes, that's lovely, isn't it? And you say this is from Australia, right? Australia. The Australians know how to do it best. Right. They know how to please the will, and they know how to take danger. I mean, they've got kangaroos that kick you across the way to the Pacific. They've got dingoes, which eat babies for fun. And they've got, what is it, snakes and lions and tigers and bears. Oh, my. I think we need to hire a kangaroo to kick some sense in the spears. Right, and on that bombshell, it's time to end. Long bombshell, to be exact. But we will be back next week with more game show news, and I hope to see you there. Till then, follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and send me your game show news at AOL.com. The Game Show Geek at AOL.com, that is. Till then, I'm Corey Evans.